Hi, the Frugal Chef here. I want to make some esfijas today. These are some little uh, meat Arabic pies, okay? Um, they're very easy to make and they're delicious. The kids love them. So um, let me show you what we need for this, okay? Okay, for this recipe, we're gonna need one and a half pounds of ground beef. You know, this is made uh, originally with ground lamb, but I'm gonna make it with ground beef today because that's, you know, that is a taste that people like more. And plus that's what I had today. So uh, what I did with this is I uh, salted it, you know, seasoned it with salt and pepper, browned it and drained it. So it's, I got ahead of myself and there we go. That's what we're gonna need. We're gonna need a medium white onion, which is finely chopped. We're gonna need a cup of chopped mint, okay? And we're gonna need about half a cup of, um, you can use either the Greek style plain yogurt. This particular thing is leaven or uh, kefir cheese. But um, you can find the Greek style thick yogurt at Trader Joe's, okay? We're also gonna need one egg for egg wash and we're gonna need puff pastry squares. Now I buy these already cut at the, uh, the Arabic supermarket, but if you can't just, you know, stretch out your puff pastry and, uh, and cut it into squares this size, okay? All right, so let's start. Okay, so for the filling, we're gonna need to heat about two tablespoons of olive oil in our pan, okay? All right, we'll let that heat for a sec. And we're going to add our onion to it. Now, we're going to cook this onion for a couple minutes until it is, you know, translucent. I don't want to brown it. I just want it to soften and get translucent, okay? So I'm going to let that cook for a few minutes and then, uh, and then we'll be back. Okay, so these onions have been cooking for about two minutes, maybe three. They're nice and soft and translucent. So all I need to do now is put back my meat into my pan. Okay, I'm gonna mix this well and let this cook for, oh, I don't know, four or five minutes. Okay, so this meat, the onions have been cooking for four minutes. And now I'm gonna go ahead and add my, uh, my kefir cheese, okay. Put this in here. This is just so simple. It's, it's, you know, not funny. <laughs> All right, I'm going to mix this well. Okay. Um, you know, remember that at thefrugalchef.com we have all these recipes. We have frugal, fast, affordable, delicious recipes that you know, everybody is gonna love, hopefully. Okay, so this is nice and mixed with the, with the kefir cheese. Again, you can use plain Greek yogurt for this, the thick, you know, kind, no problem. So all I'm gonna do now is add my mint, okay? And I'm gonna turn off my heat because this is hot and, you know, it'll, the mint will wilt with the, with the heat from the meat. And I am gonna re you know, season this with a little more salt and pepper. And there you go, our filling is ready. So now I'm gonna show you how to fill these. There you go. Let's fill these up. Okay, so let's fill these. So you're gonna grab your, your puff pastry square Set it on your, on your board like that, like a diamond. And you want to put about a tablespoon in the middle. Don't go nuts with the filling because you don't want your, uh, your uh, esfija to explode, okay? So you grab the two ends there and you stick them together. And then you grab the other two ends and you join them to the middle there, okay? So you're making a little pouch. Then I want you to go ahead and squeeze all the other edges together. Now, I have an oven preheating at 375. Now look at that, isn't that cute? So uh, you're gonna put these in the oven, you know, at 375 for about 20 minutes, maybe 25, depending on your oven. 
You want them to be nice and puffed and you want them to be brown. So now all I'm doing is putting the egg wash on it and on my pan it goes. Okay, on my baking sheet. So I'm going to go ahead and make these uh, and then we'll, uh, we'll come back and, you know, and take them out of the oven. Let's make one more. So, diamond like this, about a tablespoon in the middle, grab one end and stick it to that and then grab the other end and stick it to the middle like that and grab the other end and stick it to the middle like that. Then we just get all the edges sealed. We want to seal this well so that it doesn't pop and our filling comes out, okay? And there you go, and we make a little knot in the top. There we go. So again, we'll wash this. Actually, I'm just going to go ahead and wash these on the baking sheet so I don't have to be um, cleaning my board all the time. Okay, so let me finish making these. I'll put them in the oven, and then we'll come back in about half an hour and see how they look. Okay, so I have six of these made already. I want to show you how to put them on your pan. This is a, the distance I want you to put set them at. They're not going to expand and grow, but you know they will puff up, and you want to leave some room between them. You're going to be able to make about ten of these with the filling that you have. Okay, so in the oven we will go. Okay, here you have it. Bon appetit from the frugalchef.com. Make sure you serve these with a little bit more of the of the yogurt or the kefir cheese if you have it. And enjoy. Bon appetit from the frugalchef.com.